Hello friends, in this session I'll be discussing a question on circuit realization with the help of NAND gates. So in this particular example I'll be discussing that how we uh, formulate how we um, construct a half header using NAND gates and in the previous video session we just discussed that what are the minimum number of min uh, NAND and NOR gates required in order to construct some logical expression. So in this uh, particular session what I'll do is I'll directly take up the sum and carry expression because the main motive over here is the circuit realization to construct a circuit. So I assume that you all know what is the sum and carry expression of a half header so, so the sum expression is a xor b wherein a and b are two inputs so a xor b is also written as a not b plus b not a and the carry expression is a b now what we need to do is we need to construct a, a circuit which is able to deliver these two outputs given the two inputs as a and b so what we do is first of all for that thing what we do is we just we just form this AB bar, right? We just form this AB bar. Now you might be wondering that why this AB bar is required. So one of the hints is we require it for this carry expression. And the other thing is we also require it for forming this sum expression. Now why is it so? Because as you can see the terms over here are of the form A and B combinations, right? So it is A, B. It is A not B plus B not A. So definitely we will be requiring some form of combination of A, B. So that is why this is required. Also, if I just apply my previous uh, my previous logic of forming such things, what I did was I just applied a double negation onto my expression which I needed to realize as a circuit. So same I would do over here. If I apply a double negation over here and then I solve the inner one, what I get is this right the not of the first input dot the not of the second input now essentially i need to form this and in order to form this i require this a b bar now you'll uh, quickly be able to see how we just found this because as you will you'll be able to visualize right now that this is required and this is somehow being formed by this so we'll discuss how this is formed but for forming this we require this fine so now what i do is i first of all form this a b bar and then for requiring this carry i just negate it once again and i find this carry is delivered and then what i do is uh, i use two more nand gates with one input as this and the other input as a to this and b to this i get an expression this and then when i simplify this i just simplify it over here at this end so uh, this becomes a bar plus b bar when i multiply this with this it gives me a a bar plus a b bar and a not of the entire thing now this is zero plus a b bars not Right, so we get a b bar is not, and this is a b bar and a not of it. So definitely this will be b a bar not of this. And when I give this as an input to this, what I get is what I get is I get this. So when I solve out this, this gives me. So I just. What I do is I just uh, solve the upper negation now. So this will be uh, solved by giving this negation to both of them and putting an or in between them. So this just gives me this XOR expression. So therefore I am able to deliver the sum and carry also. So now this is the circuit realization has been completed and now we'll just uh, count the number of NAND gates required by us for forming this uh, half adder. So this is a half adder and when we count it is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 
so five nand gates were required in order to form this half adder so that's all for the circuit realization of half adder and in the similar manner you can perform the circuit realization of other logical uh, of other combinational circuits so that's all for this session of our circuit realization i'm sure this session would have helped you in some manner to gain some more clarity of the concept in case it did please like the video and keep subscribed for more good work coming up thank you